find the mistake. Can you see it? Look at everything, look at everything. Mistake. Mistake? No, that's wrong. What? The word mistake. That's wrong. She just said that. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Um, <laughs> one, two, three. Eight. Eight? Yeah. That's wrong. It's there. It's very simple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's there. Like, can you not see it at all? Um, no. You can't see it? No. What about you? One. One? That's not the mistake. Two. That's not the mistake. <laughs> you actually don't know? It's a mistake. No, do you actually don't know? You're talking to me like I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be so real. Wait, wait, why does six hate seven? What? Seven, seven eight, nine. nine. <laughs> no. We okay. Switch on let me let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me give you. A hint. Let me give you a hint. You're the mistake. No, <laughs> no. Look at the words. The Look at the words. Can you find the mistake? Question mark. <laughs> what would you do with a brain if you had one? <laughs> do you give up? Yeah. Do you give up? No. Mistake spelt wrong. Miss no. Okay. <laughs> it's so obvious. You're stressing me out. <laughs> I'm stressing you out. Yes. It's literally there. No. Do you mistake. give up? Mistake. Do you give up? I give up. Okay. Can you find the the mistake? I actually need to leave now. I'm an <laughs> idiot. What? <laughs> okay, we're yeah. gonna go back to school. Goodbye. Okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> God damn it! You can't make this shit up. If you eat pussy, you will die. If you don't eat pussy, you will die. I, Olufemi Gogo Pussy Worldwide. I've decided that I will eat pussy and I will die. <laughs> when she finds out the grass ain't green on the other side. Y'all ever just like sat and thought like I should have just stayed with who I was already fucking with like from jump it just worked just could have just worked it out like it wasn't even that deep shit wasn't that deep bro like you be sick like damn i should have just reverse car uno uno and fucking out i'm done congratulations you played yourself Women. <laughs> do we need men? No. <laughs> uh, yes, you do, you vanilla ice smoke of frappes. Who do you think paved the road you drive on? Who do you think constructed the houses and buildings near your neighborhood, huh? Men run the infrastructure of our society. You're goddamn right. You know what, men? Let's just ask this question. Would you rather be stuck in the woods with a woman, or would you rather be sent like a million years back and be stuck in the woods with a T-Rex? Please, answer. I would like to know. 100% with a T-Rex. When was the last lie you told a guy? I do not lie. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? You don't lie. No. You're gonna sit here and lie on camera. <laughs> yeah. Alright, what about you? Last time you lied to a guy? I don't lie to guys either. We're loyal women. I lost count after- of Your like, body count? Yes, like she belongs to the streets. After and you're how 20, old? Nineteen. I'm nineteen. You are rewiring your brain and your attachment. It's, it's actually very serious. Like there is long-term damage to your brain from that. I mean, I can brain live with damage. That. Like <laughs> actual. <Brain> damage. <laughs> oh my god! I'm not calling you stupid or anything for doing this. I'm Tell just her she has brain damage. No, I would <laughs> do it. Hayden, no. Hayden, do it. It, it is affecting your brain. Yeah, and you I'm, have brain damage. I genuinely, <laughs> I actually have all A's. I'm a student. It has a lot to do with attachment. So I'm just saying like what you're doing right now will affect you later in life. Brain damage. And I don't know who needs to hear this this morning, but this is your sign to go be a hoe. Okay. It's hoe summer. Hoe it up. Do it up. And if you need any advice from a former hoe, hit a hoe up. What country has the highest IQ? Uh, 
that's a really good question. I feel like Sweden or something. That's wrong. What country has the highest IQ? Um, Iran. That's wrong. What country has the highest IQ? China. That's wrong. What country has the highest IQ? I'm going to guess China. That's wrong. What country has the highest IQ? Um, China. That's wrong. What country has the highest IQ? Can't lie, I've got two countries in my head. Okay. Either Nigeria or China. They're both wrong. What country has the highest IQ? Has, um... <laughs> Russia. That's wrong. It's 2024. Nothing surprises me anymore. Just watching it. Like, what the fuck are men for? Why are they here? This is a method of coercion. It's like a flow chart of shame. It starts by saying that men are monsters and their only pathway to redemption is the provision and protection of women. It's a method of casting aspersions on peaceful bystanders. It says, if you're unwilling to fight the monster, you might as well be another monster. Even if you're willing to potentially sacrifice your life as a protector, you can still be accused of not doing enough to deconstruct a culture of violence. And be careful if you disagree with any of the mainstream narrative, your character will be under attack because you can be reasonably compared to a monster. It's a method of establishing moral superiority based on identity so that male opinions can be easily dismissed. The mainstream rhetoric says that men are the most shameful members of society while also demanding they be the most courageous. And I promise you, it cannot be both of those things. If you could observe the mind of an honorable man, you would see that he doesn't tolerate immorality. He holds others accountable. He holds himself accountable. He might do heroic things from time to time, but he's not convinced himself that he's a hero. He doesn't see himself as above or below anyone. He knows that he's not a monster, and his value does not depend on female validation. He would be deeply disappointed by rhetoric that perpetuates identified shame and division because he can't be tricked, not by men, not by women, and not by himself. Ladies, 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 the only time having a boyfriend is worth it is when he is able to fully support you and pay all your bills. I said it, I said it, I said it, and I'll say it again. The only time a man who is your boyfriend, he's not your husband, if you're gonna be a girlfriend to someone, he needs to be paying all, all, all your bills. Otherwise, why is he there? This is the mindset of the vast majority of modern women. They think that men are supposed to be a utility. You're supposed to provide for them, pay their bills, send them money, buy them expensive gifts, take them on expensive trips, and take them for expensive dinners, and go away and not expect anything in return. And this is why the vast majority of men are walking away from relationships and marriages, because the juice ain't worth the squeeze. Primetime knows that without women, society falls apart. So it's very important to keep them happy. But these days, women are very upset. Why? Mystery. Probably something we did. And instead of complaining, they're doing something strange. Women are going into the woods and screaming. That was a rage ritual where women pay thousands of dollars to scream in the forest and bash the earth with sticks and stones. It's intense and cathartic. And for some women, it's the release they've been looking for. Ritual leader Mia Magic, who also moonlights as a witch. What? Says women have a hot fury bubbling up inside them that needs to be let out. 
rage has been demonized and villainized, especially in the feminine. But our sacred rage is what has incited so many movements, created so much change on our planet. It is imperative that we allow ourselves safe spaces to release this fiery, hot emotion from within us so that it can no longer poison or toxify our internal emotional reality. Keep telling yourself that, darling.